Hey, it's Mr. Marcos. We're going to look at some easy ways to find 10% and 1%. So first of all, let's just jump right in. If I wanted to know what 10% of 40 is, all you have to do is take the 40, find the decimal point, and move back one space. And there you go, to the left that is. The answer is 4. So 10% of 40 equals 4. If I wanted to know 10% of 67, well, do the same thing. You just take the decimal point and you move it back one spot and you get 6.7. So 10% of 67 is 6.7. And if we want to do 1%, 1% of 40 is, we take the number 40, and this time you move the decimal point back twice to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.4. Let's take a look at 1% of 67. Well, you take the 67, find the decimal point, and you move it to the left twice. So you get 0 0.67. Okay, so why is that? Well, as you may recall, 10% as a decimal is 0 0.1 and I could put the 0 there for now I guess when you get rid of the percent sign you just move the decimal point back one two spaces and 1% well when you get rid of the percent sign you move back one two spaces so you get 0 0.01 let's take a look at that again so 10% get rid of the percent sign and it goes back one two so there you are 0.1 or 0 0.1 now let's look at 1% you get rid of the percent sign, the decimal point goes back 1, 2. So you get 0 0.01 or 0 0.01, which is right here. So I have the number 38.9. So if you want to know 10% of 38.9 or 38 and 9 tenths, we take the 38.9 and we move the decimal point back one space. So we get 3.89. So 10% of 38.9 is 3.89. If I wanted to see what 1% of 945.6, I would move the decimal point back 1, 2. So I get 9.456. It's as simple as that.